Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today, I'm testing a new wheel and tire cleaner that you guys have requested for a long time now, probably over a year at this point. Uh, so it is the Maniac Line Wheel and Tire Cleaner. It's a product made by Mafra. They're in Italy. They're also makers of brands like Labo Cosmetica. And so this is a heavy, heavily requested one. Can it beat my current favorite wheel and tire cleaner, the PNS Brake Buster that took home the first place for the best wheel and tire cleaner in my yearly car detailing products awards video? Well, we're gonna find out. You're gonna see it in a demo. We're gonna talk about the product, the differences in their chemistry. We're gonna talk about price, value, uh, the scent. Can they be diluted? Can they be foamed up? And so on and so forth forth so stay tuned all the way till the end because we're going to find out can this overtake the current king for me so by the way quick disclaimer this is not a sponsored video nobody paid for this video uh, i ordered this product myself from toc supplies here in canada uh, this cost me 38 dollars, including the uh, shipping costs and so the uh, base price in uh, canadian dollars is 23 dollars 95 cents in the u.s we're looking at 1995 u.s dollars it's for a one liter bottle there's only one size currently so 33.8 ounces almost 34 ounces is and what are the key features? By the way, guys, don't worry. I'll leave the links to all the tools, equipment, and the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And we're going to get to that demo in just a few seconds. But let's go over, over the formulations, right? What are the key differences? First of all, for the Maniac line uh, wheel and tire cleaner, they say in the back here, they have tons of instructions, including a QR code that you guys can scan for the uh, tutorial. But essentially, uh, this one of the main advantages is the price is awesome, but the value is even greater because it can be diluted up to 1 to 10. So one part of product to 10 parts of water if you're using it in the light dilution for summer months. And also for winter, they recommend a 1 to 5 dilution ratio. And also for very, very caked on brake dust and super disgusting wheels, a one to three dilution ratio. So it is very economical because it's a few pennies per use, so not a lot. And even straight out of the bottle, you're not gonna use this straight. It doesn't even come, by the way, with a uh, sprayer because you have to dilute this, right? Uh, but out of the bottle per ounce, we're looking at 59 cents uh, US per ounce. So very inexpensive. And uh, it actually is a better value compared to PNS Brake Buster, which was already a great value. Let me just get to that uh, in a few seconds. So they say that this is a pH balanced formula. Now that doesn't mean that it's pH neutral, right? It's not pH seven. What pH balance means, well, essentially it's the same pH as the surface that you're applying it to, whatever that may mean. I have a feeling it's a uh, higher on the alkaline side, just like PNS, in PNS Brake Buster, which is a pH of 10. So uh, an alkaline wheel cleaner. Uh, this one, they say it's non-acidic, just like PNS Brake Buster, safe on wheel finishes. You can use this on your suspension components as well and your plastic inner fender liners if you have those in your wheel arches, uh, so on and so forth. So the value is amazing. For a wheel cleaner, some have said uh, that it smells pretty good. I find it smells like chemical bubble gum and cheap perfume, uh, but at least it smells decent. They say it is a sweet and pleasant scent that is not quite my experience but at least it doesn't smell bad like many wheel cleaners uh, including brake buster this smells like chemicals so the scent is not that great uh, and again we're going to test the performance we're going to see this on a daily driven vehicle it hasn't been washed in roughly a month now so we're going to clean the wheels and tires and we're going to compare both right so the good thing about this it can be diluted what i decided to do today is to dilute it in a foaming pump sprayer in a one to five dilution ratio so one part of product for five parts of water so in a container like this this is the uh, ik uh, foamer pump sprayer it can contain up to 35 ounces so i kept it very simple uh, basically five ounces of product and 25 ounces of water for 30 ounces in total you don't want to fill it up you want to leave a gap there for the air inside there and we will also be testing PNS Brake Buster. For this one, I am using the same IK foam pump sprayer. Uh, for this one, I decided to use for PNS Brake Buster a one to three, the classic dilution ratio for it, although they do not mention on the bottle that you can dilute it uh, when you do a bit of off-label testing. It's been quite accepted in the industry that a one to three ratio is perfect for that. Uh, so in this case, uh, I used seven ounces of the Brake Buster and 21 ounces of water for 28 ounces total. Again, leaving a gap for the uh, for the air in there 
and we're going to foam that on the wheels and see how well they do. And we're going to do a second round on the tires to see if the foam has become white, indicating that with the first pass, we remove a lot of that browning, the dirt, and the grime. What about PNS, right? This was already known as a great value for money. So PNS Brake Buster, a wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, in the US, this is roughly 11 USD for 16 ounces or 473 mils. Uh, so 69 cents US per ounce. And in Canada, this is roughly 15 Canadian dollars or 94 cents Canadian per ounce. Uh, the higher you go in the formats for the Maniac line, you can only get it in that one liter or 33.8 ounces format. For Brake Buster, uh, you can get this 16 ounce bottle, which is a pint. Uh, you can get it in a quart size. You can get it in a gallon and you can get it in a five gallon format. Of course, the five gallons is the most economical because it comes down to roughly 18 cents US per ounce. Uh, so for professional detailers out there that want the biggest five gallon tote, uh, you're getting a lot for your money. However, uh, this one here is also uh, acid-free, so it's a non-acid formula. This is high on the alkaline side, so roughly a pH 10, still safe on ceramic coated wheels. Uh, but you can use this to clean your wheels, your tires. You can also use this to clean the suspension components, just that, like the Maniac line, uh, your uh, plastic inner fender wells as well, just like the Maniac line. You can also use the PNS Brake Buster to clean your engine bay. You can even use it on paint to remove bug guts and uh, things of that nature, so it's quite versatile. Uh, in a spray bottle like this, what it comes with, I would not dilute it, so you would use it straight up, undiluted. But in a foaming pump sprayer, you can dilute it one to three, up to one to five even, of course, do your own dilution tests and see what work be works best for you in your scenario. And by the way, I use deionized water for both, so zero minerals, the best quality water uh, for the best dilution ratios. For value, the Maniac line definitely takes the cake because you can uh, uh, dilute this up to one to 10, meaning you can get 11 liters or 2.9 gallons, almost three gallons uh, of total solution with just this one liter bottle. And um, yeah, we're gonna see the uh, that in the test in just a few seconds. Uh, but by the way, I want to give a shout out, give credit where credit is due. Uh, a viewer in a recent video, his name is Ethan. He said that uh, this product replaced PNS Brake Buster for him. And he had also sent a bottle of the Maniac line over to Eddie Colon. I hope I'm setting that correctly. It has a little Latino flavor to the name. Uh, Eddie has a YouTube channel called Eddie Colon, where he tests a lot of detailing products, uh, does a lot of testing on rinseless washes as well, if that's the kind of thing that interests you. Uh, so Eddie, uh, shout out to you. Continue doing good things for the detailing community. I see you have a very good energy and positivity in your videos, so thumbs up for that. And so, um, yeah, I discovered Eddie thanks to that viewer, and he tested uh, the wheel and tire cleaner by Maniac Line, and he also said that it replaced the PNS Brake Buster. So can it do that for me as well? I know you're curious, so let's go ahead and jump into the demo. One last thing I wanted to mention before we do the demo, uh, one cool feature of this um, for the Brake Buster, it comes with corrosion inhibitors. Let's check that in the back. So this is gonna help to protect the wheels against future corrosion and your uh, brake calipers as well. If you spray that and you brush that on. So that's a cool feature that the Maniac line one doesn't have. So uh, yeah, let me know by the way, what is your favorite current wheel and tire cleaner? Drop a comment in the comment section. I know there's tons of them out there. There's dedicated uh, just tire cleaners, right? Like CarPro Retire. Uh, there are uh, wheel cleaners that are just wheel cleaners. I prefer to use a wheel and tire cleaner because it's two steps in one, prevents you from using two different products. Uh, but there are very good products out there uh, that individually, for example, on tires might do a bit better on tires, like the Shine Supply Wise Guy that can be diluted up to one to four. Or in the case of the Magic Wheel Cleaner from Koshemi, this one here works fantastic to clean wheels, not on tires though. This is meant to be a wheel cleaner. It has an iron removing technology built in, so that color changing technology to dissolve those iron particles and flush them away. So this is a more intense wheel cleaner, but it also costs more because of the TGA or the active ingredient made in there to uh, remove those iron particles. So these two, uh, the Brake Buster and the Maniac line, aren't necessarily iron remover. So they're not there to remove iron particles. They can help to remove a bit of that brake dust from the surface of the wheel. But just note, if you want to do a deeper cleaning and remove the iron particles, you're going to have to use a separate iron remover. So let's go ahead. Let's dig into the demo. So let's have a look at the uh, wheels and tires. As you can see, we have some browning on the tires. The vehicle hasn't been washed in about a month. And so on the wheels, they're not super disgustingly dirty, but still we can tell there's some brake dust on there. There we go. So uh, yeah, they've accumulated a lot of that brake dust. They have a bit of grime. 
they're uh, dirty and they represent a good scenario for my viewers on this channel who actually take care of their vehicles so this would be a kind of normal state of dirtiness so let's go see what uh, we can do all right guys so for this front passenger side wheel we're going to be using the uh, maniac line wheel and tire cleaner which again i've diluted one to five in this pump sprayer so let's make sure it's fully pressurized all right So on the instructions, they say to wait between two and three minutes of dwell time on the surface. For the PNS Brake Buster, they say to wait at least a minute. So we're going to go in between and uh, give it roughly three minutes on each side so we can be uh, the same for both. So let's start our timer and give it three minutes. All right, guys. So it has been uh, three minutes. So let's go ahead and do the agitation now on the surface with the uh, wheel and tire brushes that we have. Right, so let's do a second round of the tire cleaner because normally well as you guys saw when the browning gets pulled off and all the dirt and grime get kind of that brown disgusting foam so to know if you did a good job at removing or degreasing the tires and cleaning them thoroughly the uh, foam should eventually be white and good wheel and tire cleaners they normally do that in one round so we're going to see uh, if the foam turns white now Yep, already. As you guys can tell, the foam is white on there, indicating that it did the uh, degreasing and the cleaning with one single pass. So uh, thumbs up on that. So now that the wheel is clean, before we dry it to inspect the, uh, the results, I always like to top off the ceramic protection with a spray-on rinse-off sealant like Gion Wet Coat. So let's quickly do that. Just a few sprays get in those inner barrels and then you immediately rinse off and that's it and you can tell we immediately have more hydrophobic properties water beating quick sheeting it's going to facilitate or speed up the drying process if you're using a leaf blower or a car dryer for example one to three months of protection makes the wheels a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes So what do you guys think of the after shots with the uh, Maniac line, wheel and tire cleaner? Let me bring you in closer. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts towards the end once we do both wheels and tires. It's a bit of dirt there that is left. So even with some light mechanical agitation, it didn't remove all of the dirt. So a more thorough deep clean with the brushes would have been needed. These were not caked by any means. They were dirty, but not super disgusting. This is the browning situation on the tires. All right, so let's move on now and go see the uh, brake buster. All right, guys, so here we're now on the front driver's side wheel. We're going to use PNS Brake Buster on this one. It has, of course, well, similar amounts of dirt. Let me bring you in closely. So this is the state before the cleaning. You guys can see it has that same amount of accumulated brake dust. So... Let's dig in to that demo. Okay, so PNS Brake Buster on this one. I remind you that I'm using the same IK uh, foaming pump sprayer, but this one, a one to three dilution ratio for Brake Buster. Uh, by the way, you probably noticed we're not pre-rinsing the wheels first. 
because we're following the instructions on both the labels and they do not say to pre-rinse. So they say to apply on a cool wheel. That's what we're doing. You can pre-rinse the wheels if you want to knock off the loose dirt and debris first. That's up to you depending on your wheel cleaning regimen, but we're following the instructions. Uh, PNS requires a one minute minimum or more dwell time. So we're going to give it the same three minutes uh, as we did with the Maniac line. For that Maniac line, they were asking two to five minutes of dwell time on the wheel. And so, uh, yeah, let's go and apply this. And let's start our three minute timer for the dwell time. All right, guys, so we're at the three minutes of dwell time. We're gonna go ahead and do the uh, contact wash with the uh, brushes for the wheels and tires, which by the way, we rinsed the brushes so we don't have any cross contamination. So let's go ahead and do that light agitation. I'm gonna start like before with the uh, tires. Second round on the tires. Once again, we can clearly see, even for a brake buster, same thing, the foam is white, so it did the uh, tire degreasing and cleaning correctly with the first pass. Right, so this is the uh, end result on the driver's side with the PNS Brake Buster. What do you guys think? Again, we're going to come back at the end for the final thoughts. So this is the browning. They both cleaned the tire as well with the uh, first pass. Brake Buster to me visually quickly seems to have removed a bit more of that browning or the blooming, right, from the ozonites that migrate to the top of the rubber. Those oxidize with air, oxygen, water, all that stuff, and they create that disgusting browning effect. Now, if we have a look at the wheel itself, to me, visually, including the stem, it seems like it removed a bit more of that brake dust, did a deeper cleaning, especially near the spokes and that lip there on the inside too seems to have done a bit better but i'm have a look at both and draw our conclusions what do you guys think drop a comment by the way in the comment section so this is what it looks like on the pns brake buster side all right guys so for you which one is it going to be is it the uh, Maniac line wheel and tire cleaner or is it still the PNS Brake Buster total wheel cleaner? Uh, first of all, the good and the bads, if there is such a thing, because uh, by the way, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these bad boys. I think uh, the demo clearly showed that. So for uh, value, I think uh, Maniac line is one of the best bang for bucks uh, as far as wheel and tire cleaners are concerned. So you don't need a separate tire cleaner and a separate wheel cleaner. If you're looking for that two for one, like I like to increase your efficiency and speed, uh, this is definitely one of them. Again, one to three dilution, one to five, up to one to 10. One parts of product for 10 parts of water. Uh, and so you can get 11 liters or almost three gallons out of just this small 33.8 ounce or one liter bottle. So as far as value is concerned, it's a no brainer. This one here is probably one of the best that I've found. Uh, it overtakes PNS Brake Buster as far as value is concerned. Uh, now for the performance, which is probably the most important for me, uh, I think it did a great job. So a single pass to clean and degrease the tires. Uh, it did a very good job. I 
cleaning the wheels as well. However, it still left a bit of that blooming or browning on the tires. Uh, it did a very good job, better than most, uh, but there are some that will surpass this, uh, namely PNS Brake Buster in that department. Uh, it did leave a little bit of dirt on the wheels as well, although we did a mechanical agitation right on both wheels. So uh, I don't think there's such a thing as a touchless wheel cleaner yet, unless you go to some very acidic ones which can be dangerous depending on uh, what type of wheel finishes you have uh, and if you work in direct sunlight so on and so forth that's for another video but these guys by the way are safe for the majority of the oem wheel types um, so they're they should be safe to use and again so yeah the strengths of this i think the value it's his best uh, strong suit the uh, odor is good more pleasant than the majority of the especially when you're using it in the former i think it smelled actually quite nice it still has that odor in the uh, in the garage. Uh, by the way, this is not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination. However, I tried to do the best. So the same uh, user on both wheels, obviously myself, uh, we used uh, wheel and tire brushes for the agitation to give them a better chance. We followed the instructions on each one. I work in a controlled environment. So 40 to 45% humidity. We're working at uh, 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, on cool wheels, they have to be cool to the touch before you clean the wheels with chemicals, by the way. And so, yeah, it did very, very good on the cleaning aspect as well. Uh, the scent is good, the dilution ratios. But again, I think the strong suit of this is the fact that it's such high value because it's highly dilutable. Uh, I have a feeling with this that even at a 1 to 10 dilution, they call it their summer dilution, uh, but it should be good for the majority of the dirt. Today we used a 1 to 5 dilution, but if you have some super disgusting uh, wheels, you're going to go to that 1 to 3 dilution ratio. Now, PNS Brake Buster. So this one here, I really, really preferred the finish uh, for the tires. So less of that blooming. Hopefully it translates well on camera, guys. Uh, but in person, obviously, when you're looking at it directly with the naked eye, for me, the tires seem dark blacker and cleaner it also seemed to do a slightly better job at cleaning the wheels as well uh, less of that brake dust or residue after the mechanical agitation uh, so uh, no not many touch-ups are needed so this one here for me did a better overall job at cleaning both wheels and tires it is still a fantastic value especially if you go to the gallon or five gallon sizes it's just a few pennies uh, per um, per ounce so it is very inexpensive and again as you saw even though they don't talk about dilution ratios on the label uh, you can dilute it up to one to five today we used a one to three because that's my preferred dilution uh, in a foam cannon so if you get a gallon size, a one to three dilution means you can have four gallons out of a single one gallon size bottle. Uh, even the 16 ounce, like this one, 473 mils, uh, is only 11 USD or $15 Canadian. So if you want to use it straight out of the bottle and you're going to get something like this, it works well. But if you want to be more economical and stretch your uh, your money uh, way, way uh, longer and further, you can dilute them again in a foaming pump sprayer. That's my preferred method. Uh, you can use both of these in a foam cannon as well. If you you want to try them. Uh, so 60% brake buster, 40% water in a foam cannon. And for this one, roughly the same percentages in my conditions. Don't forget, I use the ionized water, which increases the foaming capacity and the suds and all that stuff. So try, do some tests in your uh, setting to find out what the proper dilution ratios are if you want to use them in a foam cannon. Uh, and again, you can test different dilution ratios as well for uh, these products if you want to test at home, right? Find whatever works best for you. And so does the Maniac line wheel and tire cleaner replace the PNS Brake Buster as far as the king of wheel and tire cleaners in my books? Uh, not today, guys. The PNS Brake Buster is going to take the cake, is going to keep its crown. This has taken first place uh, many years in a row now for my car detailing products awards video. Those yearly awards, go check that out if you haven't seen the 2023 edition yet. Uh, but it took first place and it's going to maintain that spot because of its great value because of its ease of use you can dilute it uh, you can uh, well it also has those corrosion inhibitors right so it drops a small layer of those corrosion inhibitors on your wheels and your brake calipers to prevent them uh, from future corrosion so I think that's a cool feature I don't think I've seen that on other wheel and tire cleaners does a great job on the tires and on the wheels so it's super versatile uh, and again very inexpensive for what it is it's still a great value uh, although again the Maniac line did fantastically well uh, for probably 
one of the best wheel and tire cleaners as far as value is concerned. So if you're looking at raw performance, great bang for buck, this one is still my number one. Uh, but this one will likely make the podium next year if it continues to do as strong in my uh, future months of testing. Uh, this probably is gonna crack the top three best wheel and tire cleaner in the 2024 Car Detailing Products Awards video. So what do you guys think? What is your opinion? If you have tried uh, both of these, let me know which one is your favorite. And if there is a wheel and tire cleaner that you have tested that is even better, that I have not presented in my videos yet, let me know, I'm always curious. Drop a comment in the comment section so I can go ahead and test that and figure out. I'm always, um, I'm on the hunt for the best of the best and test stuff for you guys to help you make the best purchasing decisions. Hopefully you enjoy the videos. By the way, I'll drop the links to all of this stuff in the description under the video for you guys to check everything out. Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.